Hello, my name is Sabrina Stocker and you may remember me from last year's BBC One The Apprentice. I'm at the Queen's Club just ahead of Fever Tree Championships to see if I've got what it takes to be an official. Well, here I am on court with the renowned Mr. Richard Hay. It's lovely to meet lovely you. Lovely to meet you. Richard, how do you become an amazing official? Well, it takes a lot of time and practice. Uh, I've been officiating for 17 years now, wow. and this year's going to be my 17th uh, Fever Tree Championships here at Queen's Club. What would you say makes the club so special? Well, the club has so much history here, and it's um, the fans make it very uh, exciting. Mm -hmm. We have world-class players every year, and it makes it a great event. And it's just a great atmosphere to be here. It's one of my favourite tournaments on the ATP Tour. What kind of skill sets do you find that you really need to portray on court? Well, we need a lot of concentration, sometimes a poker face. Can you smile? Um, occasionally. I think I may struggle. <laughs> <laughs> So we've talked about tennis officiating enough. I think it's time that you gave it a go. I think you've got what it takes, but first of all, you're going to have to get changed. Well, Sabrina, you really look the part now. You're all uh, dressed in the official's uniform, and now we're going to do a bit of reading the signs, OK? So we've got two signs to give as the line umpire. One is the uh, in, which is our hands together, so we can see the back of the palms. And then we've got the out, which is straight out to the right. Okay, you put this one back on the knee, make sure your thumb's down, fingers together, and then we have to go into the calls. So we're in our ready position, we're looking down the line, as soon as the ball lands, then we have to call, we wait, and then we signal. So something like this. Out! And just imagine the ball lands, you see it out, so you call, wait, and signal, nice and loud. Go. Out! Now we need to be much louder than that. We need to stop play. You've got a stadium of 15,000. Everybody needs to know that that ball is out. Out! Oh. I'm so <laughs> smiley and that, oh, yay. <laughs> Sabrina, you're in the at ease position now. And when the player's about to serve the ball, we'll go into the ready position. And then we have to call the balls as we see them. Challenge. <laughs> was that not in? Oh no, I thought it was in. <laughs> That definitely looked in. Right, Sabrina, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is how to deal with confrontation. So the most important bits are to stay calm, to listen to the player when they're uh, discussing something. It could be over a time violation that you've given them. So you've just got to interact with the player because it's time to test your poker face and if you can deal with confrontation. What are you doing? That was so far in. How can you call that out? This is ridiculous. Let's go straight back onto court and let's continue playing. I don't know how to handle this, jeez, it's a bit intense. This is ridiculous. How, how can you even sit up there and see those balls like that? The ball is clearly in. We're going to continue play. Let's go. Richard, thank you so much for today. My pleasure, well done. Do you think I have what it takes to be an official at this year's Fever Tree Championships at the Queen's Club? Well, I think you've got a few points to work on. We mentioned the voice, you have to be as loud as possible, you know, you have to stop play. And I think you're a bit too smiley. You're such a nice person, I think you might struggle sometimes. So guys, that's it for today. If you'd like to see Richard and his team in action, then come join us at the Fever Tree Championships at the Queen's Club. <laughs> <laughs>